A common question we get asked is what's involved with the phase one inspection? We're gonna go over the 10 points that are being inspected. So what is inspected during the phase one inspection? In the phase one inspection of the milestone inspection process, as outlined by Florida Statute 553.889 and detailed in the final commission report on milestone inspections, the focus is on a visual and qualitative assessment of the building's structural integrity. The key areas inspected during the phase include, but are not necessarily limited to, the following. The first one is load bearing walls and elements. The inspection looks at the walls or structures that support the building's weight, checking for signs of stress, cracks, or deterioration. The next step is a primary structural member inspection. These are the main supports of the building, including beams, columns, trusses, and girders. Inspectors assess their condition for any signs of damage or weakening. The third one is primary structural systems. This encompasses the overall framework and construction that contribute to the building's ability to stand and bear loads looking at how these systems integrate and function together. The fourth one is foundations. The inspection includes checking the foundation for any signs of settlement, shifting, cracking, or water intrusion that could undermine the building's stability. The fifth step is roofing. Though primarily concerned with the structural aspects, the roof is inspected for conditions that might affect the building's structural integrity, such as water pooling, leakage, or the damage to the roofing structure. Exterior walls and cladding are the next step. The inspection assesses the condition of exterior walls and coverings for signs of deterioration, damage, or failure that could affect structural integrity. The seventh step of the inspection is windows and doors. The framing and installation of windows and doors are inspected for structural soundness and integrity. The next step is balconies and railings. Balconies, decks, and the railings are checked for stability, secure attachments, and signs of wear or corrosion that might compromise safety. The ninth step is staircases and walkways. These are inspected for structural soundness, including support structures, railings, and the condition of walking surfaces. And the final tenth step is the overall building condition. This includes a general assessment of the building's condition, looking for any visible signs of structural distress or deterioration not covered in the specific categories already listed. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like the video. If you have any comments or ideas for other videos that we can do in the future, please leave them below. Thank you.